So today's video, I will be showing you how to make this. I've actually always wanted to make the monster wreath from Nightmare Before Christmas, and now I finally have, and I couldn't be more pleased, actually. He's so cute. Anytime I like come into the hallway, this is the um, the backside of our front door to the apartment. Anytime I like come out of our room and see him, he just makes me so happy. I don't know what it is about his little face. Um, clearly, I went for a mix between the movie version, which doesn't have teeth, and the Haunted Mansion holiday decoration version, which does have teeth, and this cute little bow here. But yeah. Stay tuned and you'll see how I made the spooky friend. To start, I doubled one package of tinsel garland and wrapped the foam wreath entirely with it. Then I wrapped the holly garland around the wreath. Since the screen and park accurate versions are indeed a holly wreath. I then wrapped some LED lights around the wreath and attached the battery pack, which you don't see here, with two pipe cleaners on either side of the battery pack. I then started working on the eyes, cutting foam bases out and then molding foam clay on top, letting these dry overnight before I start painting them. I decided to paint the eyes yellow, like the Haunted Mansion decoration, so it would contrast against the white teeth. I cut teeth out of EVA foam while I was waiting for the eyes to dry and glued them in place. The teeth are also a decoration that come from the park ride rather than the film. I started making the Burton-esque bow using hot glue to keep everything together. To make the skull that goes in the middle of the bow, like seen on the Haunted Mansion holiday decorations, I used more foam clay to shape the skull, just using a pen and a paintbrush to help me mold the eyes and nose and teeth. And of course, let that dry overnight as well. And now that the eyes are dry, I can glue them on with some more hot glue and then draw the pupils on with a Sharpie.
while I'm still waiting for the skull to dry, I worked on attaching the vines. I took another package of tinsel and doubled it to add strength and fullness to those vines. And then I tied them on, weaving them through the holly garland wire and just kind of wrapping them around themselves. Now that the skull is dry, I colored in the eyes and nose sockets with more Sharpie and then glued it onto the bow. Lastly, I attached a pipe cleaner to the top of the backside of the wreath to hang it from. Now my monster wreath is ready to menace anyone from the doorway. 